Right, we've put £10 in, we got three bars of fuel, disgraceful, 5.3 litres, half past six, 24 degrees, it's a Thursday, and we're going to the pub to meet Vic, for a pint of cork. Goose can't come with us today, he planned to, but... He sold his house and he's got to get out tomorrow. So he's just packing everything up. Let's go. I've got my new little feature on my nose, if you can see it. I saw the MotoGP riders use them, and basically, it's like a little plastic, it's got a bit of plastic in it. And what it does, it opens your nostrils. And the reason I've gone for that is I've only got one nostril. The other nostril's completely blocked. My bones all twisted where I bust my nose when I was younger. So I can only breathe at one side. Oh, I can breathe brilliant. I've also, looks like it's bouncing around a bit. I suppose I'll soon see when I look at this footage. I've lowered my forward facing camera to inside the screen instead of on top of the screen. And the reason being is with the GoPro being chin mounted direct on, you're just looking directly at the camera. So I've decided to lower the camera to take it out of view, but it doesn't like it's bouncing around a bit, so it might be unusable. The footage from it, we will find out. Got myself a new tank bag. I've got myself the Givy 15 litre. I had the 5 litre before. So I've decided to go a bit bigger. So I've gone for the 15 litre, it's extendable. But I don't think I'll ever need to use it extended. But don't stick out too bad. I can see the phone, I can see the clocks. That's just mighty fine. So I thought I'd explain the title of this video. I've been wanting to explain it for quite some time. But I haven't actually got around to it. Come from basically quite a few comments we get. We get quite a few comments asking this and quite a few people asking us. So I will explain, but first I want to mention somebody with the name of Simon Saunders. Now Mr Saunders, he contacted me, it's probably got to be two months ago now, and he just dropped a comment on one of our YouTube videos and he said, I've just discovered you, your channel. I can see you've done quite a few videos, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the very beginning and watch every video in order. So we started way back at the beginning. Each video he's watched, he's left me a little comment. It might only be a little one line, but just so you know how he's got on. So he started back in the day where it was just me and Goose going out with no microphones. And I had my fire blade. So that's what he's doing. So Simon Saunders is working his way through the videos. He's got through quite a few. I think he's been doing two or three videos a night. I think we've got about just over 300 videos we've got on our channel. So he's doing two or three videos a night. So he's a couple of years behind at the moment with footage. Um, I think he's just got to the part where I made the video about young Lucas, the guy with leukemia, when I did the charity ride with Street Bike to the Birmingham Children's Hospital. That was the last comment I had from him, and I think that was, may have been Monday. So we started all the way back from the beginning, and he's watched it, and I think that's an absolutely brilliant idea. Which leads me on to the other reason, the question a lot of people ask us. And a lot of people say, well it's not just motor vlogging, but every channel basically on YouTube, they all request the same thing in a video they always say please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell and a few people have said why don't we say it is it something we forget to say it's not something we forget to say it's something we deliberately don't say and the reason being is what Simon Saunders has done is why we don't say it 
So he's kind of latched onto why we don't say it, and he's done what we, well, not what we want, but what you know we think people should do. I'm not going to ask people to subscribe and like and hit the notification bell. It's one thing I'm not going to do. I'm not going to beg. I am not going to beg for subscribers. I'm not going to ask you to subscribe. What I think is the best way of doing it is like Simon's done is if this is the first video you've seen of Motorev, don't subscribe. Don't bother subscribing. Don't hit the like button. Don't hit the no notification bell. Because all it does is just allowing me to play the YouTube analytics. The best thing I can recommend is if you've seen this video and you think it's any good or it ain't no good or you might want to see more. If you do, I would suggest going back. I'm not going to say a particular video, which I think you should go and watch, or one I prefer. Just go back. Go and watch some more videos. Before you subscribe, go and watch some, some videos to see if you like us. If you like us, you might subscribe. You might watch the videos and like us, and you still might not subscribe. I ain't bothered. We ain't bothered about that. And I do it a lot. There's quite a few channels I watch. But I don't subscribe to them. And the main reason being is, if you're a person like me and you watch a lot of YouTube, you can't subscribe to every single channel you watch. Well, you can, but there's not enough hours in the day to watch all the videos. You know, so I'm never going to never gonna beg you to subscribe to our channel. So that's the reason we don't ask you to subscribe. We, I don't believe in it. I don't believe in asking people to subscribe. I and mean, in one way, it's so we can kind of get a true figure of the people who subscribe, are they the people who want to watch the channel? And you're going to get subscriptions. The problem is with subscriptions, you don't know who they are. You don't know where they're from. You don't know if it's people you're speaking to. Now, we've got our Motor of us Facebook group, our private group. Well, I think we've got about 500 members in that. And that's where we regularly, regularly speak. So we've got 500 members in there. We've got, I think, about just under 2,900 subscribers. So there's a big difference there from who's subscribed and who's actually talking to us. You know, you might have people who've subscribed from all over the world, but I would prefer people not to subscribe. I would prefer to keep the numbers low. Instead of getting a lot of subscribers, but then your view counts. I mean, we average on some of our videos, it's normally about half. Half of our subscribers is normally what our view is, just over a thousand, 1,200, 1,400 views we get per video. So you can really say, so half of the subscribers are not even watching the channel, they're not interested in it. I don't think you ever hear YouTube channel saying, please don't subscribe. You know, we ended up doing this channel. We didn't, we didn't set out to do the channel. It's just become what it is, but I don't want to play the YouTube game and I don't want to play the analytics game. And I don't want to play the game what other YouTube channels play. Because to be honest with you, it's a crock of sh And I've said this before quite a few times. And I will actually reference somebody here, Teapot1. Now Teapot1 is, he's full-time motor vlogging, so the subscribers, it's that what drives him, it drives his channel, it's what earns him his money. And the same with his Patreon. You know, all that money and, and support he gets, that's his wage, that's what he pays his bills with. So that that's, you know, we're coming from completely different angles teapot that is that's his bread line you know for us motor vlogging full time is not what we want to do so we don't need so we don't need the thing I'm trying to say is we don't need the support what these big full time motor vloggers do They're, they need the support because the support is supporting them it's supporting them live we don't need it you know, this is still just a hobby for us, it's a mess about. We're just a bunch of idiots. We don't know a lot about bikes. I don't know a lot mechanically. I wouldn't say I'm even a good rider. 
but we just enjoy bikes. We're just normal, normal people on bikes, like everybody else. We don't go mad on the reviews, but if we're not getting out, or we're not doing anything, and we have a product, then we'll review it. And what you'll probably see is, you won't see any bad reviews on our channel. And the reason being is, if we have a product what's no good, I ain't gonna review it. I'll try it out if it's no good. I'm not gonna um, make a bad review against a company. We've had quite a few things sent us which are no good. If it ain't no good, I just won't review it, I won't bother. So we will only review stuff we would use and buy. You know, it might not be the best out there. It might not be the most expensive. I suppose like some of the Maxima Moto gear, you know, that's, that is more on your budget end range stuff. But it is stuff, this, I've got the Maxima Moto jacket on now. It is stuff I will use. It's not top of the range stuff, but if I use it and I make a review and I like it, then that review will, uh, we will put that review out. But no, we're not gonna make a um, bad review. I would rather just not review the product. Can't believe how long I've just been waffling on about that. Just about a stupid title of a video. But the main reason I do it is I like editing. I like doing Photoshop. And I've said this to the guys, if I didn't like editing, and I didn't like messing about on the computer, there would be no channel. I wouldn't bother with it. It takes far too much time. But I enjoy it, so that's the reason I do it. I do like video editing. Here's the Vic on his newly lowered bike. Well, we've got a KTM here as well. Well, it's good to say hello to Victo. I ain't seen Vic in ages. He did come to Adam Valley, but he wasn't very well, so we had to go. I'll tell you what, Victo. I'm going to put it up there so we can see him for the beer garden. Here we go, the Robin Hood. Look at that man, Vic. So Vic's asked me actually to do a review on his bike. He wants me to use his bike to do a review. He's at the low end, the low end, he's at the back end lowered. Because he's only got little legs, bless him. But yeah, I've never been on a, on one of those Yamaha, so it'd be nice to try it out. He's asked me to give it an honest review of what I think of it, what I like, what I don't like, so I'm looking forward to that. Right, let's get a Coke. And let's have a chat with Victor. I've got to move that camera. Look at that, that ain't happy. Well, look at this maverick riding my bike. Give me a little taste of what it's likely to get when he finally does this review on it. It's alright, isn't it? I say I'm going to be interested to see you when you have a proper go on it. That was lovely and smooth, that was. Yeah, I will be interested to see what you think of it when you have a proper go. Yeah, it'd be nice, nice. Oh, mate, I haven't got that now, actually. It does look good. So smooth, isn't it, as well? That engine on it. Yeah. Yeah, I've just mentioned on mine, actually. I'm uh, going to be doing a review on it. Have you? Oh, right, yeah. Oh, yeah. No horses beyond this point. Vic did say you saw that sign. You know, you said you didn't want me to mention it. I just have. Well, then, Victo, see you soon, buddy. See you later, bud. Now, actually, did I pick up my memory card box? I don't remember putting it in the bag. 
Yes. It's a good old tank bag that is. You can get loads in that. So Simon Saunders, when you get to watch this video mate, I mean it might be, it might be well after the summer, it might be coming up to winter. Um, drop me a message and we'll get you a t-shirt sent out buddy. Because I'd imagine by then you might have caught up. So you're quite a few videos behind. So all these people what are watching now, they all, they all not know you but they've all heard of you. They've heard of your story. Oh, you ain't got a clue about it yet. But no, thank you for doing that, watching from the beginning. It is quite a good idea. I might even try myself actually. Is to try and find a new channel and do that. Start from the beginning. I still stand by our decision and idea where we don't want people to subscribe. If you want to, I suggest you watch a bit first, then make up your mind. But I'm never going to ask you. I'm not that desperate. And I noticed it deliberately, I did it deliberately with that Honda CBX review. You know, you'll do a, one of our normal videos. I'll get the usual, you know, we might get a thousand views. As soon as I did a bike review, I think within three days it was at 10,000 views. So you can see why people do bike reviews. I'll see you on the next one. Oosh! Uh, we are done. See you on the next one. Oosh!